spontaneous overflow of thought often knocked at the door of a poet who was getting excited to scribble it down on any matter available may it be a piece of paper or a cigarette packet yes we are talking about none other than odia poet padma bhushan ramakant rats who was born and brought up in orissa so now let's meet him and have a few words sir so, namaskar uh, sir uh, let's start from your childhood your education uh, about uh, your upbringing and how you had developed your writing skills from those days i was uh, born at katak my maternal grandfather he was then the sanskrit teacher in the ravensa college at school my father was uh, then away at kalahandi he was the headmaster of the high school at bhawani patna so i spent practically my childhood in my grandfather's village ramakant ratha was born in katak odisha on 13 december 1934 his father's name is lokanath mahapatra and mother's name is parvati devi since his grandfather pandit vishwanath ratha had no son the former had adopted ramakanta as his son so ramakant's surname was changed to ratha ratha had his school education in village and small towns in odisha spent his initial professional career in the hilly and tribal areas of Kalahandi and Fulbani and during those days he had to face a lot of difficulties in that hostile region some poems i wrote uh, in my college days and some poems which i wrote in the early years of my service career uh, it was uh, published in i think in 1962 and was very well received and uh, unfortunately some of the poems i wrote in the college days i misplaced those poems i couldn't find them so those poems are lost forever but those poems which i uh, could lay my hands on i uh, compiled them and put them in this book this book was very well received byaktigata anubhuti abega sahita odia parampara ra jo madhura mishrana tanko kavita ko ani deichi ek alaga niyara paricha samagra bhartiya kabha sahitre se jana ananya pratibha bishesh kari se rukha gadde ku jepari bhavare nija kavita re व्यवहार कर एक नूतन मौलिक इमेजरी सृष्टि करती तार कौन से तुलना ना अन्न कौन से भारतीय कवि मान भाई फुंगुला देहरे कंकी धरवे कोई तोड़े सका गोटाक काटुवा बाड़कर से दिन देहांत होली बिलिव दैट ए पोएट सुड नट क्लेम दैट इट व्वाज हि हू हाज क्रिएटेड दि पोएम दि पोएम इज क्रिएटेड बै situations by circumstances which are not under his control does ramakant's rats poetry really inspire the young poets these days poet is famous only because of the powerful lines if all the lines of the poem will be powerful then who will be noted whatever he writes it is uh, uh, it pacifies emotion and intellect Ramakant is one of the prominent Odia poets today. He has been most successful in using new symbols, new images, new verse forms and new diction. His romanticism and death are Siamese twins. One is inseparable from the other. His poems are generally webbed around the fabric of destiny, death and destruction. Ramakant Rath's contribution to Odia literature is immense. As a matter of fact, as a poet, he is the one who broke new ground after the 50s. 
and since then he has not looked back. It is told that it, uh, he is a pessimistic poet, but uh, his pessimism is always um, um, rising towards optimism, hope and love. You know, for a father or mother, all the children are the same. So for a poem, poet, all the poems are the same. It's difficult for him to choose one, but I will do one, take half of the remainder of my life, but fill every moment of the half that is mine with your infatuation. Was the bargain unfair? Then leave me with a single moment and take away the rest of my life, but like the sky, fill the whole space above that moment. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ramakant Rath is definitely a person par excellence with his gentle manners. He praises his better half for assuming all the household and social responsibilities, perhaps for which he could pursue his main interest, poetry. Ramakant Rath has definitely taken a retirement as a bureaucrat, but he has not taken a retirement as a poet. He has never ceased poetry, but constantly lives in a fear that someday poetry might abandon him.